Hello everyone. Good evening. Uh, so this is my second talk uh, in the re React uh, knowledgeable, re knowledgeable. Uh, thanks for giving me an opportunity second time again. Uh, and again, I'm uh, that's my favorite topic about the Gatsby. Uh, so the last time when I was talking, so I was t uh, showing you how to build a you know Gatsby. Uh, using a, I mean using Gatsby how do we build a blog under 10 minutes how uh, fast we can build the you know uh, the blog uh, so today I'm going to show you the new feature the cool feature which Gatsby has uh, you know introduced very recently that's a Gatsby theme um, so what is Gatsby theme uh, it's basically the you know the functionalities which we can reuse across multiple sites can be built as a themes uh, that's basically like I can actually publish those themes as well as uh, publish and distribute across various sites and uh, you know and also uh, Gatsby uh, earlier it had a kind of a starter uh, packages like say for example you can use uh, some starter themes basically kind of a theme which can uh, fork the starter package and then you can build your own site uh, but the pitfall of that particular uh, uh, you know uh, structure is uh, you have to rebuild everything and it's kind of a eject like how how react comes with the eject like with the create create react app once you did it you cannot actually go back and do it or otherwise if there is a update uh, or new feature been added to the starter kit you cannot get that update you have to rebuild everything again from the scratch where in themes, uh, it's a package, NPM package. It is distributed as an NPM package where you can actually, whenever uh, there is an update come, uh, you can install a new version. So you get your website also will get updated automatically. So today, uh, oops, uh, we are going to quickly build the small theme uh, component. Uh, I'm going to uh, show you how do we build. So do I have to enlarge? Is it okay? Yeah. All right, so I, I have a basic setup here. Uh, it doesn't have any code yet. Uh, so it's a kind of a mono repo that I have set. Um, so you can see that this uh, there is a root package.json which contains nothing. It, it is just uh, marketed as a private and it has two workspaces, uh, Gatsby theme like post. So I'm naming my theme as a Gatsby theme like post. Okay, before before diving into it, uh, what what we are going to build today is uh, a small like button. Like say, for example, for any blog, and for any blog post, uh, if we have a like button, people so we can easily know okay, people liked it or not. So uh, that is the one which we are going to build today. Uh, it is easy to build a blog, but wherein the like button have lots of functionalities. Uh, I'm going to show or I'm going to build a theme which can be installed as an NPM package and if you have a blog which is written in Gatsby you can easily download this package and then put it you will have a like button in your every blog post uh, so that's a uh, so this is one of the workspace uh, I kept it and uh, there is a small site uh, workspace that is uh, basically we will be experimenting our uh, code with the with this site workspace so there are there are two different folders one is the gatsby theme like post and the site um, so this is this is where we are going to build our own component here um, let's build it so i'm going to create like maybe small source components and i'll call it as a like button Okay, before before building, let's uh, just check whether everything works fine. Um, yeah. Okay, so as you know, I'm I'm using the okay. Maybe I should. Is it visible? I'm using a workspace. Uh, this is a mono repo, so I'm using a workspace here. Uh, let me first see whether is there any problem with my site folder. Uh, so I'm using a Gatsby develop here. Um, so if you look at the package JSON of uh, each and every folder here, 
it's a very simple uh, thing uh, so i don't have much uh, dependencies so the one main dependency is this so as i mentioned each and every theme can be installed as a package npm package uh, so it's a it's a it's kind of a link npm link that we have created uh, gatsby theme like post uh, there is no version for now but yeah once i publish this particular library uh, then you can have a version also here and uh, like the develop actually uses the gatsby binary to develop uh, to run it as a developer mode and the same way for here also gatsby theme like post the same scripts but there are a couple of dependencies uh, the dev dependencies is like i'm i'm not going I, basically i will try to minimize the dependencies so that every dependencies will be managed by the site uh, owner so here the peer dependencies and the dev dependencies are given okay so there are no compile errors my site is fine i'm going to test the same thing for the uh my theme folder so if yeah i don't have any compiler as here too so let's go and build our component as usual uh, we need a react package it's a simple like button so let's see whether it works fine all right so this is a simple like button so i am putting a button here let me export it to default okay so the interesting thing here is the main uh, so if you look at the get package.json there is a main uh, which is pointing to the index.js which file i mean that file is not yet available i am going to create that file okay so here i am going to oops i'm sorry i forgot the syntax yeah so what i'm doing is uh, i'm exporting the like button as a uh, you know default uh, component so that people easily can use a named export uh, named import in while importing this package uh okay so the main this is fine now as you already aware um like say for example i want to create any pages in a gatsby everything should go under the src slash pages so i'm let put src pages and i'll call it as index.js which is the home page um okay let me call let me copy this and put it here and make it as a home i'll put it as a hello everyone okay so now i have a default page uh, so let's see let's see whether it is working fine i'm um, let me launch my uh, site which is basically it, it has only one page uh, which shows hello everyone the h1 header header tag now i'm going to add the component which we created the like button uh, so to do that let me do this so so this is the import statement uh, from from our own build theme and it has a like button so i am importing the like button here and that's it so you can see the like button is it visible yeah you can see the like button so the like button is built as a theme basically so that's the power of theme so you can build any component and can distribute that particular component as a package uh, and then people can customize so i can customize from this particular uh, site itself okay so now when i click what i wanted just to keep it simple like uh, i want to 
uh, have some uh, identifier and then store this information in the local storage so that every time I visit, if it is already liked, it, it, uh, this button has to be disabled. So that is the goal. Uh, Let us quickly go here. Okay, so as I mentioned, um, so on I click, uh, I, I need some uh, details to be, uh, you know, stored about the post, maybe like uh, I, I want to capture the post ID. So let me take the post ID as a props. Uh, this will be a unique identifier, which I will use it to store it in a local storage, uh, maybe like handle click yeah I'll call the handle click so I'm going to create a new method oops so I don't want any default uh, event handlers okay so I have a post ID it's a simple so I will create a key called uh, whatever the post ID that I have received and then maybe like I put it as a true. Okay, as, as you are aware like the local storage uh, which always uh, stores any value as a string. So which you can see uh, the type of the value has to be string. Uh, even if you pass a boolean it will automatically you know consider it as a string. So better not to deal with any types here I will store it as a uh, you know string. Okay. So so, okay, now actually once the user clicks the like button, I want uh, to be disabled. For that, let me have a uh, local state, I will capture the, uh, you know, the uh, state of the button here. Click, so an handler for the click and I will use the local state here. So by default, I will keep it as a false and the moment it is stored, I will make it as a true and here disable. So I will point it to the click state so that if it is already clicked, it will show. Okay. So, hmm. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let us see what I have in my local storage already. Okay, I do not have anything. So, but uh, as I mentioned, there is a post ID which the post ID I have to pass. Uh, let me go back to my page. I will pass it as a maybe like index post. I will pass it as an index post. Um, now this should be fine. So you can see that index post is stored in a, a local storage and yeah, the button is disabled. <coughs> okay. Uh, so there is a problem now. After refreshing, again it is showing, I mean the button is not disabled. Uh, the reason is uh, we have to handle uh, this in a, a well, well component mount basically like we have to check whether this uh, what is the current state of this button okay to fix that problem our favorite use effect and the dependencies so the dependencies uh, for the F use effect I uh, it has to be a post ID because I am going to check whether the post ID uh, state is disabled or not so uh, I have taken a dependency as a post ID, local storage get item of post ID. So you know why I added post ID as a dependency, right? Because I am actually reading from the local storage with that post ID identifier. That is the reason I am adding it as a, because any props, any state, whatever it gets changed, you have to add it as a dependency. That is a mandatory for the use of it. So I am adding that. and. Uh, yeah. 
set clicked so that's that's pretty much enough so you can see that this button is now disabled the every time you uh, you know uh, refresh it will be uh, disabled only uh, to just to make sure that it is working fine uh, let's create another page maybe i'll call it as a about about but this time here i have to put it as a about post because for each and every post it has to be different so if you see this button is enabled the reason is like we don't have this uh, you know the, the key in the, in our local storage if i like then it will be added okay so yeah th that's pretty much uh, is it like so we built a button and we uh, we are actually doing it as a theme so that any in any of your existing site you can easily add this like button the functionality is very simple here uh, but we can make it like uh, uh, you know kind of a persisted across uh, not in the browser maybe like we can add a firebase uh, we can actually send this event to the firebase and store it across and it will be real time that's that's it today for today and yeah so uh, so i'm vimalra selvam and i will be able uh, you can actually reach out to me uh, through my twitter or my blog thank you Uh, and